Ever since Bitcoin was invented, over 10,000 coins and tokens have been launched on different blockchain structures. Although many improvements have been made since the first blockchain, they're still plagued by many issues today. One that's frequently brought up is the lack of interoperability between blockchains. Different blockchains are built differently, which understandably hinders interoperability and compatibility between networks. These blockchains can't share information and data among themselves unless they undergo a process that consumes time, energy, and other resources. With different blockchain concepts and ideas, there is a need to have a system that connects each of these blockchains together. Interoperability and compatibility between different networks will help us create ideas across all chains. This is precisely what Quant Network is trying to do. Welcome to Coinly YouTube channel, your number one tech and blockchain product education plug. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel, this is very important for us. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you can be notified each time we post our video. Kindly share our videos with your friends who would like to learn one or two things about tech and blockchain products. Now let's get into it. Quant Network was founded in 2015 by Gilbert Verdian when he discovered how useful distributed ledger technologies, also known as DLT, could be in solving the problems he was personally facing. So what is Quant? Quant through its overledger network has created an application programming interface API that facilitates the connectivity of numerous network types while allowing for secure, interoperable application development, opening a path for enterprise systems to integrate Web3 functionality into their operations. To put it in their words, they are connecting all the world's distributed ledgers for faster, more efficient growth. As a result, the Quant protocol is often referred to as an operating system software that connects all blockchains. Now let's discuss further on how this works. The Quant protocol was designed to remove barriers commonly encountered on communication, interoperability, and scaling blockchains. To achieve this, layers are matched to tasks for which they're best suited. Let us take a look at some of these layers. Transaction layer. On this layer, storage of transactions is paramount. Both buried and isolated ledgers are used to place related operations in one layer and verify them across the blockchain. Once a transaction has been validated, it cannot be invalidated under any circumstance. Everything needed for consensus across blockchains occurs on this layer. Messaging layer. This layer deals with information and data transfer. There are three types of data that can be processed. Smart contract data, metadata and transaction data. Metadata interprets messages and translates them into different languages for different blockchains to understand. Filtering and ordering layer. While this layer also handles messages. But, unlike the messaging layer, it involves filtering searches into specific results. Every message on the digital ledger system is placed on a first-come, first-served basis and is kept neatly in a database. When validation of an off-chain message is required, the filtering and ordering layer is responsible for validation since it's the only layer with the history of messages transferred throughout the protocol. Which means, developers can set specific tasks. For instance, allowing an application to transfer tokens to a particular network once they're deposited on the dApp. Now let's break this even further by looking at Quant's key features. As an Ethereum-based platform, Quant leverages the security and interoperability of the Ethereum ecosystem. Unlike the Bitcoin blockchain, which focuses on providing people a way to transfer value, Ethereum has a wider range of use cases. The first feature is the overledger network. The function of the Quant overledger network is to secure the transfer of information and data on Quant. It uses another protocol the overledger DLT to fulfill this task. When a user is connected to the protocol, data can be exchanged with any two blockchains within the system. The second is Overledger DLT Gateway. The Overledger DLT also known as Distributed Ledger Technology Gateway is specifically made for a large clients. Its main role is to assist the system with interoperability between its distributed ledger system and networks. Data, non-fungible tokens, smart contracts, fungible tokens, and even IDs can be transferred smoothly using the DLT. One defining attribute of Quant's Overledger DLT gateway is that a smart contract can be written in any programming language, from Hyperledger Fabric to Ethereum. The third feature is Quant MDAPs. MDAPs are another unique feature found on the Quant protocol. Decentralized applications, also known as dApps are blockchain-based, and MDAPs allow different dApps to work on as many blockchains as possible. 
With NDAPs, developers enjoy the advantage of each blockchain without having to necessarily deal with its restrictions. For instance, a developer can enjoy the consensus from one chain and acquire data from another. The fourth feature is the QNT token. Quant's native token, also known as QNT, has three prominent use cases. The first is the payment currency for using network resources like APIs, data, and connections between various enterprise blockchains and legacy systems. Gateway operators also use this QNT crypto asset to pay yearly licensing fees to make use of and participate in the Overledger network. Finally, Quant tokens are paid by Quant's treasury system to gateway operators who function as directors of transactional traffic within the wider Overledger network. The token has a market cap of about $1.3 billion and a maximum supply of 14.6 billion QNT. With a total supply of 14.6 billion QNT, currently at a market price of about 102 US dollars. Furthermore, let's look into the advantages of using Quant. 1. Since it's built from scratch, Quant doesn't experience most restrictions that come with distributed ledger technology. It can be installed seamlessly without prior knowledge of cryptography or programming. 2. Quant users can connect to any type of digital ledger system, irrespective of their position. Developers, individuals, and even public workers can use the network without prior programming knowledge. This combination of flexibility and ease gives the platform great appeal. 3. Quant can be bought with fiat and directly exchanged back to fiat. 4. Quant can neither be forked nor lose communication with its multiple ledgers, so the chances of a security breach on the network are extremely low. 5. Unlike most other distributed ledger systems, no data is stored on the gateway on the quant network. A standards-aligned API is used by the network for an extra layer of security. We can keep going about what the quant network is trying to achieve, but we have to wrap this up. Using the quant network, you can connect to blockchains like Ethereum, Ripple, and Bitcoin. And aside from these, Quant is also working on a SaaS product and a Quant app store that will add more resources to the Quant ecosystem. Let us know what you think about Quant in the comment section. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like this video. Don't forget to turn on your notification to get notified each time we post our exciting video. Share this video to help us grow this community. Looking forward to hearing from you. See you next time.